Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. Whoever's energy I'm picking up on here tonight is someone who is dwelling really heavily on you as the one who is part of this collective, the one who felt guided to this reading video. I am sensing that there is someone sending you energy very heavily at some type of a distance. Now, this could be an emotional distance, this could be a literal physical distance, but regardless, I am not just feeling this person heavily sending you energy, but that word heavy feels like it could really describe also the nature of the energy they are sending you, meaning there is a very heavy, dense, weighted down vibration around this person, around how they feel about you. This person almost feels as though they are walking through a fog in this moment of being disconnected from you in some way. And I'm getting chills all over just as I am beginning to sense into their powerful energy. So if you felt guided to this reading video today, I don't believe in coincidences or accidents. So most likely there is some message here for you in the reading. With that being said, always be sure to only take from these readings what resonates with you personally. And before I could get out the last bit of that sentence, our first card just flew out. Yeah, the sun card in the reverse position. I hear this person saying, I can't move on without you. Even if it looks like I've moved on, I'm getting something about blocking so for someone, there could have been a situation where one of you blocked the other or said that you were going to block the other over phone or social media. But regardless of the circumstances between the two of you, I feel that this person coming through who I really sense is a masculine who is sending this energy and a divine feminine who is picking up on it. They're feeling really disappointed, but these disappointed feelings aren't directed toward you, divine feminine. They are directed at themselves. They feel disappointed in themselves because I feel them saying, why couldn't I just open up? It's like there's an aspect of them trying to push themselves open, trying to push their hearts open, trying to push them to be vulnerable and transparent. And there is this other aspect of themselves that has always been so afraid. And it's really that fear that pushed, I feel the divine feminine here to walk away or disconnect herself or put some distance between herself and this masculine with the walking away card upright. I feel specifically at this time, the divine feminine may be disconnecting herself from communicating as frequently in the 3D with this masculine this won't be for everyone, but for some, I feel like there could have been some communication disconnects. I feel a divine feminine saying when it comes to this throat chakra energy, this communication energy, I feel her saying, I've been guided to really focus on activating my own inner voice, but my commitment to this inner voice, to clearly hearing my inner voice, my intuition, which is really a commitment to the truth, to transparency. This commitment to the truth means that whenever there is less than authenticity coming from you, divine masculine, because I do feel for many of you, this is a twin flame situation. Again, take it as it resonates, but for many, this will be a divine feminine, divine masculine, twin flame kind of scenario. 
And I feel this divine feminine saying, the door is open when you are committed to truth which sounds kind of strange, but I feel essentially the divine feminine here saying, I am committing to my own expansion with the world card up, right? My own soul purpose and soul mission here on earth. And on a higher self level, I recognize that that means I can only connect with you through transparency through authenticity through pure unconditional love and whenever that isn't available from you divine masculine in the 3d worlds we won't be connecting as frequently in the 3d in those moments in time because i felt a little bit of tension a little bit of triggering rise up when i said that and I feel that moment of triggering is because there's fear here. There's fear. Even in the bravery of the divine feminine collective here who is choosing themselves, choosing their own expansion, choosing this commitment to truth, even if it means 3D moments of disconnect from this divine masculine, there is still this triggering of fear which your guides, Divine Feminine, need you to know that these moments when you find yourself tensing up around this, when you find yourself feeling a bit emotional or feeling a bit afraid, there's something you need to know. And I'm going to get that message from your guides here from the Starseed Oracle. I keep getting this tension in the solar plexus area, the stomach area. So some of you might be getting that as well. And I will be channeling into what that sensation might mean for those of you feeling it physically, for those of you feeling that solar plexus tension more emotionally or mentally in terms of feeling a bit low self-confidence, feeling a bit indecisive or unsure, unsure of what to do in a certain situation. And I will be channeling more information on that. But for now, I do want to get a Starseed Oracle card. By the way, these Monday, Wednesday, Friday readings always do have an extended version of the readings as well through our beautiful twin flame, or really at this point, our soul tribe on Patreon, although many on Patreon are twin flames, do connect there as twin flames. And the link to those Patreon readings is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. I will most likely be sharing with you later in this reading at certain checkpoints, certain moments in time in the reading when there will be a deeper dive through the extended reading on Patreon. But for now, from the Starseed Oracle, we have fall into my arms surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. And one thing I have to say is right away with that word extremes, I feel that many of you divine feminines and divine masculines listening, you've experienced a lot of extremes of emotion through your 3D connection with whoever this person is. What are these extremes of emotion? that have been experienced through this connection. Happiness, but it was in the reverse position. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So because this card came out reversed, I feel that with this person you have experienced both. And of course, the second card that came out was love. You've experienced both intense moments of happiness, joy, elation, coming home. But also, there's something about an embrace, this person's arms around you, holding you or embracing you. So that might be significant to someone, but that also might just energetically be how their higher self is holding you right now in the 5D and that could connect with the fall into my arms card. This could be a message from this masculine's higher self who is sending you energy. This is 
them saying, I know that in the 3D things are convoluted and confusing right now. I know that you feel uncertain at times and this can cause the ego within you to trigger fear but fall into my arms into the arms of our higher selves who know who know beyond the limited perception of our human based ego mind surrender to the knowing of our higher selves that we have never left each other's arms and that in choosing our own expansion, we are choosing one another, regardless of if that leads us into times of temporary disconnect in the 3D from one another. Through this connection, you and this person have not only experienced the extremes of emotion and underlying those extremes this intense unconditional love that is actually what is triggering both what we label as the negatives and the positives you've experienced together but also i feel that there's a message coming through about your connection illuminating within each of you and i just saw the number 1133 for someone this connection has illuminated within each of you areas of yourself or your life that may have been causing you to feel dissatisfied, to feel unhappy because this person and the unconditional love bond between your souls more specifically has energetically activated you to, to this, this awareness awareness of your highest version of yourself because unconditional love is in resonance with our core soul frequency and this person i feel for most of you is a twin flame which is the soul that shares mirrors your core soul frequency and through that mirroring they remind you of who you are at the very core of your being beneath all of the levels, layers, the appearances that you put on. But in doing so, they also reveal to you the layers of yourself that are inauthentic. Things with the attachment card upright that you may have been attached to through the ego that may not even be in resonance or in harmony with who you truly are at the core soul level. Wow, very intense messages coming through. So in the extended version of the reading on Patreon, I will be channeling more information on how this energy of unconditional love between you and this person is individually impacting both the masculine and the feminine in this situation. So what specifically has been illuminated through this connection for both the masculine and feminine, what aspects of themselves have been illuminated through this connection that they've realized have not been in harmony or resonance with their truest, most core version of self. So again, the link to that extended information on Patreon is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. And I am going to write that down really quick so I remember to channel that. And interestingly, the two cards that just came out are patience and happy family, both in the upright position. Both I feel still connecting with this fall into my arms card. To be honest with you, I get a very clear and succinct message from these two cards coming from this masculine's highest version of self. I feel this message echoing through all of the timelines, potentially some of these timelines being lower vibrational, being those of trauma, of separation, of confusion, disconnect. And for some of you, you may have found yourself 
walking through, living through, breathing, moving through some of those lower vibrational timelines, even at this moment. But even if that is the case, this masculine's highest version of self is calling out to you from that highest timeline saying, quite literally, I hear him saying, we will be together again soon with happy family being the reunion card and patience being the timing card, trusting the timing, surrendering to the timing. Now, of course, both you and this person do have free will, but what I really feel this masculine's higher self saying is we are aligning with one another vibrationally, giving us the opportunity to harmoniously and consistently connect in the physical 3D worlds. But in the meantime, and on every timeline, you hold my heart. The number 444 is coming out here, as well as the woman holding a heart card. I'm also getting something about a bracelet for someone and the letters K, E, L, and S for some who are listening. Those might be letter initials or connected with you in some way. I'm also getting something about a black stone or a black crystal. So I want to know what else this masculine on this highest timeline calling out from this highest timeline what he wants to say journey in the reverse position being with you is like coming home after a long journey community in the upright position you divine feminine aren't as alone as you believe yourself to be you are supported even though you stand alone and this message by the way divine feminine isn't just from this masculine's highest self this is also from your guides and from your own higher self and i'm quite literally seeing a visual of you standing on your own for some reason i'm picturing you on a cliffside so this might be significant to someone you might be someone who goes for hikes or long walks by yourself. I see you standing on this cliffside, either literally or metaphorically, and you feel as though you are standing alone, but your guides and your higher self and this masculine's higher self are kind of all joining together to say, if you could only see the spiritual support that is around you, the energetic support that is around you, those who are cheering you on, literally I'm seeing ancestors who have paved the way for what you are now building, what you are now creating in this physical world has been pre-paved by generations of ancestors who came before you and they are in the spirit realm cheering you on. Specifically, I do keep seeing a grandmother or great-grandmother figure for someone also. So I want to know what this divine feminine needs to know about this higher level support around her, surrounding her at this time. I'm hearing there's no need to be afraid. The courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Let's get another card here. You got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, boundaries. So I am getting a message for a specific group of divine feminines who have been standing alone or feeling as though they're standing alone in life, perhaps for the first time in this physical lifetime. I feel I'm specifically picking up on someone who may have been in many different love relationships or connections with different masculines or has been more tied in with others in the past in either platonic or romantic relationships. But now there is this energy of you being this beacon of light, standing 
from your perspective, what appears to be on your own. Although, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you are so spiritually supported at this time. And know that if you feel as though you're standing alone in the 3D, this is for a reason. This is because you are learning how to be fearless in your love and in radiating your light and sharing your gifts. You are learning how to no longer need permission from anyone else, from any other person, a masculine, your family, friends, or otherwise. You are learning to no longer ask for or need permission from other physical human beings to share your gifts with the world. Emotions are running high. And so if you're feeling really emotional, I'm getting someone who either lives alone or spends a lot of time alone, who is feeling a lot of sadness at certain moments in time. I'm hearing a lot of growth, but a lot of sadness. And start recognizing those moments of intense emotion, whether it's what we label as negative, sadness, loneliness, or what we label as positive, happiness, joy, motivation. Start seeing all of the extremes of your own emotion as actually a sign of your growth, a sign that you are going into new territory that is unfamiliar to you. And because it is unfamiliar to you, your ego is registering it with a heightened emotional charge that it labels as negative emotions or positive emotions. But really, it is just you moving into uncharted territory. I feel like that was a really powerful message for some divine feminine coming through. Now, if you are resonating as a divine feminine with these messages in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more messages for you, divine feminine, from your higher self, your spirit guides, and potentially for those of you who also are connecting with your ancestral roots. So this could be that grandmother or great-grandmother figure or some other ancestral presence that you may have actually felt around you recently, I will be channeling more on that as well, also in the extended. So again, the link to that extended reading is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. But for now, I am going to move forward to a love aspect of this reading because the last card to come out is the Door to Romance card in the upright position. So I am really curious to know what is going on in love right now for our beautiful collective here. Okay, so... I'm speaking here to a divine feminine because goddess of the moon came out here in the upright position. I'm hearing that regardless of your love circumstances or situations, the theme of your life right now, divine feminine, is to learn how to stabilize yourself in your power. I'm specifically getting something about self-worth. So you may have been cultivating a deep inner sense of self-worth over the course of the last several weeks or months. And now this is really beginning to stabilize. But the key for you here now, Divine Feminine, is learning how to hold this connection with your inner power and also hold this connection to your own intuition because this is sitting on the third eye chakra, which is also the seat of intuition. So how to hold this connectedness with self while still connecting with others. For many of you with rest and rejuvenation upright, you might be coming out of or in the middle of feeling as though there's been a bit of a break or a pause in love connections for you or even in platonic friendship connections, feeling as though you've been spending a lot of time by yourself or almost like you've been taking a break from the world, walking away with walking away in the upright position, this card coming out here, sitting on the solar plexus chakra, but also the heart chakra, meaning I feel you are learning to really open your heart to the world, but in a way that is also balanced with standing firmly in your own power, 
meaning you are living open hearted, but you are also setting boundaries to protect yourself, to protect your energy because you are first stabilizing your connection to your own self-love and connecting with everything and everyone else in a spirit of open-heartedness from that space of total self reconnection. And I feel that has been a major theme of your life right now. I keep hearing learning how to open yourself up to the world again without losing yourself in the process and i feel this might be a very up and down kind of process for you as well divine feminine it might take some practice to continue to hold your stability while still connecting with others either platonically or romantically and at times you might feel guided to actually need to retreat back into your own space into your own energy with the number 555, this indicates change. I feel that there are changes alchemizing within you very quickly that are quickly changing the landscape of your social or romantic connections as well. Whether you see this yet visibly or you are just sensing this energetically. Seventh chakra in the reverse position, sitting on the throat chakra, there is some kind of soul connection or spiritual connection very strongly in your energy field, but something has become a bit mixed up in this in this connection. I almost skipped ahead to the message here. Mixed up in this connection when it comes to the 3D communication aspect. So I feel as though divine feminine, this is a masculine to whom you felt for a while a very strong spiritual bond, but something about your 3D communication to this person might feel very blocked at this time, or it might feel hot and cold. It might feel kind of hit or miss. Like sometimes you are aligning with each other and sometimes there is a disconnect. So I do want to channel into this energy. What is going on with this highly spiritual connection where communication has been blocked? Okay. Angel of strength upright you are really being guided to focus on yourself, increasing your sense of inner power and confidence, building this strong foundation within yourself and holding space for the masculine in this situation, in this highly spiritual connection to also build his own foundation within himself. And there's something your guides are really emphasizing the importance of both of you individually finding this stability within yourselves in order to stabilize the way in which you can consistently connect with and ultimately have the opportunity to reunite with because happy family the reunion card is coming out here as well with each other in a more stable consistent way in the physical world so very interesting messages coming out towards the end of this reading and once again door to romance up right i feel like your guides are telling you to have a spirit of open-mindedness when it comes to love now for some of you this could be romantic love for others of you this simply could be platonic love i'm hearing let people see you for who you truly are let people get to know you for who you truly are don't be afraid to open your heart to soulmate connections now when i use that word soulmate for some of you, this will connect as platonic soulmates because soulmates can be platonic or romantic. But for others of you, this could be soulmate love in a romantic form as well. The word training is coming out. So I feel as though through opening your heart to others, through reconnecting in the physical world with others, I feel that you, Divine Feminine, are training spiritually. You are learning, again, how to hold your own in the arena of planet Earth, how to remain fully connected to your inner power and your inner voice, your commitment to truth, transparency, while still being able to open your heart in this world to physical 3D connection. And I feel this is a very essential piece of your training to stabilize that foundation 
energetically within yourself again with that root chakra card speaking to the strong energetic foundation you are building you are stabilizing within your self-divine feminine at this time so in the extended version of the reading i will be channeling more on how you divine feminine and this masculine energy coming through here this highly spiritual connection that might have a bit of back and forth or kind of opening and closing communication in the 3d at this time how both you and this masculine are in the process of stabilizing yourselves in the 3d in the physical world and i will also be channeling messages from both of your higher selves love messages from the higher selves to one another so again the link to the extended reading is in the pinned comments and description box under the video but for now to close this reading i am going to read a little bit from the Rumi card i just pulled which is of course the commitment card which is really synchronistic because we were just talking about how you divine feminine are really stabilizing your commitment to inner truth and to transparency to authenticity and to yourself so let's read a little bit from the guidebook here as a closing message the awakened heart is like a lantern keep it sheltered from the turbulence of the winds of desire rumi we are candles lit by the one great flame the breath of life does not extinguish us on the contrary it only serves our flame to brit to blaze brighter here in the temple of one love there is no flickering or smoke to our flame we are natural in our purpose simply to bring the warmth and light of love to life we dance though we are stillness we are on fire though we do not burn there is a flame that must be safeguarded in truth it can never be extinguished it is the light that never goes out this flame is holy and lies within each human heart when the flame is recognized for its worth it ceases to flicker and smoke becoming very still in the stillness the light can fulfill its destiny to shine brightly so as to reveal every path absolutely clear and without wavering in the fluctuations of fear and attachment when we stop seeing life as it is showing up for us every moment and engaging with it as it is we can become careless with the light of the hearts we forget to trust in what is because we get caught up in attachment and fear surrounding our desires rather than letting life move us we try to move life there is a way forward on your life path that needs to be seen by you now it will be helpful for you to have that clarity and that certainty this oracle comes as a reminder to you don't doubt what you are feeling deep within the passionate love of your heart's light is true it is real you are being led into it by the progress of life itself you must trust in this even if at times it feels as though you are being led away from the vision come back to the stillness of the love within and know your heart light to be what it is reliable and true showing you the way even now in peace and stillness wow what's a profound roomy message to close out this reading and with that being said i just want to give a big closing thank you to each and every one of you i sense all of you here 
I feel all of your love and all of your powerful light and energy that you bring to these readings. We are all truly co-creators and soul family here reconnecting through YouTube, through this platform. So if that does resonate with you, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel to join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Also, if you feel guided to do so, I would love for you to leave a message for our community here in the comments section under this video. You can also feel free to let me know what connected with you personally from the reading. The link to the extended Patreon reading is in the pinned comments and description box. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day and start to your week. And I will see you here again in the next reading.